Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, today I just have a little bit of an unboxing, unbagging, diamond painting, opening, whatever you want to call it for you. These are just some kits I bought. Um, I think two from AliExpress and one from Tamo. I got the two from AliExpress for $1.99 each. And I think I paid four for $4.99. I will put the prices up and everything will be linked in the description box. Um, I just bought these because they were cute and because there was like sales. You know, they do the little buy it for $1.99 to kind of draw you in. And this one I just thought was pretty. So let's open this one first. I find it interesting that these are all the same size, yet they're actually different sizes. So I might have to do some measuring too. Let's open this one from Tammy first. This one. They all are supposed to be 30 by 40 centimeters, but this one actually is smaller than the other two that I've got from AliExpress. That's sticking. Let me pause and come back. And I'm back. Alright. This is just a pretty colorful tree. It says 40 by 30 centimeters or 15.7 inches by 11.8 inches. It has 21 colors. Probably have a webcam that will focus, I believe. It's a little bent up, but that's expected when getting them from Tamer. They just put them in a bag and send them. Um, I want to see. So the canvas. Looks like it's right. So yeah, right at 40 for the canvas across, and I don't know what the cat's getting into, but that was loud. Slightly over 30 tall, if I'm using this accurately. I mean, maybe this is two and this is one. I was thinking this was two since it's right on the line. If so, then let's do it that way. Then this is 39 and a half by just slightly, slightly over 30. And then the actual image size, cat hair. Looks like it is 24 by slightly over 33. It's nice and sticky. I like the colors in it. It's pretty confetti heavy. So I'm kind of, I'm really hoping that for as small as it as it is, it will actually turn out pretty well. Hopefully I found a picture to put up whenever I was opening it, but if not, let's see if I can get this to show up. Not really, but I mean, you can basically see what it's going to look like. I just thought that'd be a fun one to work on because it's so colorful. Yeah, it's got such a dark background. Again, real quick, and then maybe edit it so this is actually with it. There we go, focus. So, yeah, very clearly printed. Looks like goes numbers and then alphabet. All in numerical and alphabetical order, so that makes my little heart happy. Thank you. 
I don't see anything. I'm going to get confused. There's no B, so I won't get it mixed up with the 8. The O and the D are completely different colors, so those won't be a problem. Yep, I'm happy with the printing on this one. This one's going to be easy, at least in distinguishing the different symbols. Comes with the basic kit, the wax, the tray. This one actually comes with the little baggies, some don't, but it's still pretty basic. And then it's got a pin with the single placer and the, I think it's like a four placer. I usually, I don't use these, so I'm not sure. Um, there's my, pretty sure it's a, four placer because mine's got a double placer on it. Alright, let's look at the drills. Comes in the packaging where everything's connected. I wonder if I turn this light on if it will help. Maybe. with quite a bit of black. Ooh, pretty shiny. Got some pretty blues and some nice like fall colors. Browns and oranges and reddishes. And that looks almost like a really deep purple. That's a really pretty deep blue. I feel like they're showing up pretty true to color on my monitor. Maybe slightly washed out compared to what I'm seeing with my eyes. Like this is more of a greenish to my eyes, but on my monitor it's more of a bluish. So, but they're still showing up pretty good. Yeah, this one's actually a really bright purple, but on my monitors it's like a really dark They look really uniform. I'm not seeing like weird shake ones. Of course, I won't know until I'm actually using them. If there's any hidden in there. I really hate whenever I open a package and then half of them I can't use because they're odd shaped or have like the plastic hanging off of them or resin. I don't know what these are made out of. Anyway, I'm going to put this one up. Alright. This one I got from AliExpress for $1.99. Whenever I looked earlier today, it was still in the $1.99 group. It's like a little thing that pops up whenever I go on their app. You can buy certain things for like $1.99, $1.49, something like that. Almost did the same thing. See some piece of bags that you put them in. This one I thought was really pretty. And even though it's small, I thought it might come out pretty well because it's not... Well, maybe not because... We'll I'll just have to see. But it's it's not too many colors in the image, so I thought maybe this might work out okay. I hope you can hear me okay. My air kicked on again. It's really cold out, so my heat keeps kicking on. Um, it's 30 by 40 centimeters. 24 colors. It's a really pretty peacock. Almost looks like acrylic paint flowers in the background. You know, when they make it real thick and chunky. 
just a, the super basic kit, just the single placer pin, the one little square of wax, and the green boat. Oh, I see it's sticky. It's nicely sticky. It's not peeling up anywhere. I had a couple from AliExpress that were peeling up, I guess like the double-sided tape kind of thing. I want to measure this one. See if I can figure out what I did. There it is, the measuring tape. I'm just very ill-prepared tonight, I think. Alright, so this one's showing. I'm still confused on this measuring tape. Either right at 30 or it's 29 and a half. The inches are marked so much more clearly. My cat's joining me. Hopefully he doesn't try to get in the screen. And then height-wise, it's coming out. I don't know what I just heard. Um, slightly under 40 or slightly over 40 depending on the markings on this measuring tape. This is more the size I expect of the canvas than the image itself. That's inches. It's a little over or a little under 25. I wish the images were the size that, you know, they tell you the canvases are. But at least once you get I'm used to diamond painting, you kind of know what to expect when you read sizes. Still a little crinkled. About 35 high. So 25 by 35 and the canvas is 30 by 40. I'm rambling tonight. It's 1.30 in the morning and I just got an urge to open these. These are also all attached. Pretty grays. I, I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I love a nice gray. It's like not one of those colors that I gravitate towards, but I really appreciate sometimes. dark blue. It's a really deep, pretty blue. Very little, whatever color this is. 15 says 934. I like that they have the project or product number or whatever on it, so if you don't place your drills with your canvas, then at least you know what to go to. But I wish they'd put the DMC numbers on here, if they match DMC numbers anyway. That way I can store them with my other leftovers once I'm done. They all look like they're made pretty well seam size. I had one kit recently that it looked like some of the drills were like a certain color was smaller than the other ones. It turned out okay but it was just very like disconcerting to use because I kept thinking one of them was smaller and I don't know if it was just my eyes something about the collar. I forgot to even tell you about on the other one but how clearly it's printed. This is clearly printed all letters. They did that thing where it's not in alphabetical order, which I don't know why, but sometimes that really kind of bugs me. I like to see it in alphabetical order in the legend. But yeah, they're clearly printed. I wish the D's and O's weren't both blue. The D's are darker blue. 
the G's are gray, so I shouldn't get those mixed up. Yeah, it looks like it's clearly printed and there's enough difference in the letters that I'm not going to get them confused. The D and the O are the, the closest and there's a good enough difference in the color for me not to get them mixed up as long as I am paying attention to what I'm doing. And the light board will help too. this color. It's like a really grayish green. I am so bad at describing things. It's more of the color, I think. At least on my screen it's showing up pretty good. Alright, last one. This one is just very bright and shiny. Bright, shiny, and again a dollar ninety-nine. It's hard to pass up something when it's that cheap. Whenever it's something that's been pretty, I just thought this was cheerful. It would make me happy to work on. flowers. And the heat keeps kicking it on and off. Let's see about the way. Alright, so this is 30 by 40 centimeters. That is 28 colors. Very bright, shiny colors. Numbers, letters, and one symbol. Again, in numerical and alphabetical order, so it makes me happy. No B to get mixed up with the eight. No O to get mixed up with anything. So yeah, this is going to be easy, at least when it comes to telling the symbols apart. It's very colorful, very clear, and no similar symbols to get confused. It's got a lot of colors, but I wouldn't say exactly confetti. It's just no real large blocks of color except for the background. So this should be fun to work on. Locate my measuring tape again. Pardon all the noise, I dropped it. I will edit my big head out of there. Keep getting distracted by the cats, by noises that I don't know where they're coming from, just all kinds of stuff, which is probably the cats. Okay, this looks like this canvas is right at 30 by 40 in the image. It's almost 25 by almost 35. So it's funny how all three are slightly different sizes. So I'm assuming it's just they're all different companies producing them. Because they're all 30 by 40 canvases, but the images are all slightly different. Right. Comes with the single placer pen, the green tray, the wax, and some of the little Ziploc baggies. Let's look at the drills. 
I check, see if it's sticky. I had a pause, so now I'm confused on where I left off. Nice and sticky. I guess pour glue since it doesn't, I can't feel an edge. I can see an edge though, but I mean, that's normal with pour glue, right? Nothing's peeling off. That's the important part for me. If you've seen my one unboxing video that I did for AliExpress diamond paintings, I think both of them, the glue or the double-sided tape was peeling up, so now I worry. Once again, the girls are all connected. The product number is printed on the packages. So if they get separated from the candy, so you'll know what to go to. I'm going to do it from this side so you can see the girls better. Brown. Look at that bright, shiny yellow. Just bright and happy. Oh, I was looking for the color number that's not on here. Maybe a 3 team, maybe one of the other dark ones. It looks black, but that could be brown. Nice green. Pale, kind of a tan. Where'd my burn? That's why it's so ugly. I steamed myself on a microwave meal of all things. Kind of an olive green. Really light olive green. More greens are plus green. And got like the rainbow of oranges and yellows. I wish they would show up the color they are. They're showing up a lot lighter than they are. This is actually a nice orange, but on my monitor is coming out of yellow. This is a light orange, but on my monitor is coming out of yellow. That's coming out pretty good. This is a brown that's coming out green on my monitor. It's so weird. I tried messing with the settings. But they keep changing somehow. Like my um my mat is a real light bright purple, like a pinky purple. Yet it comes out a darker purple. What are the cats doing? I'm gonna pause. And I'm back. Cat was getting into something he wasn't supposed to, as usual. It's my fault for leaving something out. I think I was complaining about how the colors are not showing up. White. Yeah, really, really pale pink. It's going to be pretty. I just don't know how much detail there will be since it's 30 by 40. But, I mean, if you look at the, the canvas, the image comes out pretty nicely. For what it is. I mean, it's not going to look like the picture. Hopefully I have a picture I can put up for you. It's not going to show all the detail, but I think it's going to come out cute for a small, small project. That's why I got these. They were cheap and they're small and I wanted to have more small ones on hand to do. I don't know if I'm going to record them or if I'll just put up posts whenever I finish them. I just like to have smaller ones to do in between my larger ones. But yeah, that was my just random unboxing. Like I said, Timu and AliExpress, I bought these with no money, no collaboration or anything. I will put the links in case you're interested in them in my description box along with the price I'm seeing. I don't know if everybody gets that cheap price or not. I feel like you do, but I'm not going to, you know, promise anything. I hope you like this weird, disjointed, rambling unboxing. This was probably one of my most rambly, unbox like disjointed ones because the cats kept distracting me. I had to pause several times. Um, if you get any value from my videos, please consider liking, subscribing, maybe sharing. I really appreciate all of you, and thank you again. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.